Hello and welcome to Glavel Saxon Hill. My name is Tor Dvorak. I'm the director of marketing here at Glavel. Today we're at our production facility in Essex, Vermont, where we're going to go behind the scenes, show how foam glass is manufactured, and highlight what makes this facility so incredible and unique. Now, if you haven't heard of foam glass, it's a lightweight, structural, and thermally insulating aggregate made entirely of recycled glass. This product can be used across the construction industry in residential and commercial subslab insulation as lightweight green roof fill and in the civil sector as lateral load reduction, embankment stabilization, or as structural fill. We like to start here because this is where the process both starts and ends. Directly behind me is our glass powder silo which holds raw inputs. And then right in front of me to the left, you can see our conveyor depositing finished goods into the bunker. From there, product will be packaged up and sent to job sites. Now that being said, let's head inside. We'll meet some of the mines that have created Glavel and introduce North America's first ever electrified foam glass kiln. Hi, I'm Ken Minkar, the Chief Operating Officer at Glavel. I'm standing in front of our production line. This is the first of its kind in North America in that it is a fully electrified foam glass furnace. The foam glass process starts right here with milled glass powder. Um, this powder comes from uh, recycled bottles um, and is milled down to a flour-like consistency. The wetted powder is deposited across the width of a belt which moves very slowly through the furnace. As that belt is moving through the furnace, we gradually heat up to about 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. And at that temperature, the glass softens and we generate gases that create the foam. This is phase one of our factory. Phase two includes a second production line, identical to the first, and the very important additional capability of converting raw glass, like I'm holding in my hand, into powder form. We hold our glass to a very high standard of less than 1% contamination. What this means to our customers is a very high quality, consistent product. Product is tested daily to ensure it meets the requirements that we commit to our customers. This includes thermal conductivity, compressive strength, and other parameters. You can find the full list of product specs at glavel.com. My name is Rob Conboy and I'm the founder and CEO of Glavel. We always knew at Glavel at some point we were going to electrify our manufacturing process and just realized there was no way that we could possibly put off electrifying our kiln, that these are the hard choices, the difficult paths that we have to uh, choose to follow now. Because we've electrified our process and we just happen to have an incredibly uh, low carbon grid here in Vermont through Green Mountain Power, we're able to have an incredibly low embodied carbon building material. The, the speed at which uh, the awareness and, and, and demand for low embodied carbon products uh, we're seeing is just quite phenomenal. We can be a beacon for other materials to be transformative, to question the way that they're manufactured, to uh, look to electrify sooner rather than later. Uh, an inspiration for others to do what we're doing. You just have to kind of want to do it. Thank you so much for joining us here today at Glavel Saxon Hill to learn more about foam glass production. Now while this may be North America's first electrified foam glass kiln, it certainly won't be the last. We anticipate future Glavel plants to pop up around the country in years to come, so stay tuned on that front. Now if Glavel seems like the right product for your job site or your application, Feel free to reach out to us, find us at glavel.com where you'll find more information about products, tech specs, applications, and plenty more. Until then, take care.